morning students today we will discuss about the molecular sieve chromatography so it is ha it have another term exclusion chromatography here sieve means uh, sieve means here some gel particles in stationary phase acts as a sieve so it is also a another application of the column chromatography here certain types of molecules are excluded particularly large particles are excluded the uh, what is called from the isolation from or enter into the the sieves so large size particles are not able to enter into the gel particles so these are acted as a sieve so that's why these large particles is uh, did not enter into this uh, this gel particles that's why it is termed it as exclusion chromatography so here when we observe this diagram here it is a column in this column in this column in this column here these gel particles is added so and also on the top here uh, to be unrelated substances unrelated substance will add so and wash with buffer buffer it is a mobile phase so and wash it so here these particles will enter into the into the what is called gel particle so so small particles will be able to enter large particles did not able to enter into that gel so our substance so it is a column here in this column it is filled with the all gel particles so these balls so these beads so the what is called these are termed it as beads so these beads these are gel beads so here it contains pores so here three types of substance are there to be unrelated substance one is in pink color which is smallest one and also uh, another one is in blue color these are medium size so the another one is in red color so red color is large substance these are not able to enter into these beads so these gel beads so pink color will able to more 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 what is called more number of pink color substance will able to enter into these gel beads so uh, blue color it is in uh, medium size particles a limited limited uh, number is enter into these beads so here large size particles easily elute from the substance small particles it takes more time to elute from this so here uh, these are more retained uh, the, the retention factor is more for the pink color so here so it contains the column is contain gel beads it is filled with gel beads so these gel beads contains pores so these are acted as the molecular sieve sieve means gel ada antamma so molecular sieve so ikkada so in this sieve so small particles will easily enter large particle did not enter, did not able to enter so these large particles easily eluted from the column so from the column it takes very small time so so this technique is mainly used to isolate the biological polymers proteins polysaccharide particularly nucleic acid also mrna trna like that substances here exclusion limit so exclusion limit means here the, what is the size of the, uh, the these beads so according to that is able to allow so here the size is maximum size did not allow so this this is termed as exclusion limit so if it is molecular size is more so it did not allow into this speed so this is termed as exclusion limit that's why it is termed as exclusion chromatography so macro molecules are excluded that's why it is termed as exclusion chromatography here you see here uh, it is a column it is filled with the beads so molecular beads so gel beads so here pink color pink color substance are larger one so green color substance are smaller one when we run it first pink color will come out why because these are not able to enter into these beads so it is easily eluted out so here when we take a graph in x axis and also y axis on x x axis we take the absorbance and also in y axis so x axis we take time in y axis we take the 
absorbance absorbance so here when we take it so here for large size particle the peak shows so it is a chromatogram chromatogram means the chromat out out uh, what is called visual image of chromatogram so chromatography so here this peak shows very smaller one why because it take smaller time and also less absorbance so i uh, why because the with the large size these particles did not able to enter into these bits so here this peak is larger why because it takes more time to elute out from the column why because these are able to enter into the bead so that's why the peak is it shows large large size so here chromatogram is a visual output of the chromatograph or chromatography so here uh, it it takes uh, larger particles peak is uh, larger particle peak is uh, what is called uh, small it shows small height but uh, large uh, smaller particle peak is uh, very high so here the distribution coefficient so for larger particle it easily eluted out it is zero so for smaller particles it is maximum is one so the intermediate it is between the zero to one so what are affecting the uh, this sieve uh, chromatogram or gel filtration chromatogram actually small sample volume if if small sample volume is if it is less we can get more resolution more good result so here uh, what is called 2% of the sample volume out to the column volume so it, it did not increase more than 4% so it is optimum 2% so it is when to the column volume so this 2% of the sample is column volume so column dimension so if it is a column height is more we can get more good resolution so why because the bed height is also increased so with this we can get good result so particle size also so here when the size of the particle is small when it is decreased in the column so we get good resolution so particle size distribution so when the particles are uniform the uniform the, the particle size is uniform so the flow rate is also very uniform so it shows also good resolution so next uh, pore size of the particle when it is the pore size is smaller one so uh, the analytes will what is called we can get good resolution so the small particles will e uh, will easily enter into that smaller pore so flow rate so here low flow rate allows so low flow rate allows the complete diffusion of sample molecules between two phases so when low flow rate, low flow rate means what is called the size of the particle is small these are easily enters into the bed it is a symbol so what is the applications of the gel uh, filtration we already had told i have told that we can easily isolate the proteins and peptides from various sources and also we can determine the relative mass so relative mass means we can uh, compare with uh, other substances it is relative mass here also we can determine the relative mass of this substance so by the known source if 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 one substance uh, what is called mass we can know we compare with uh, the unknown substance so we can come this is termed as relative mass determine relative mass so and also we can separate the dna rna trna like that and also other constituent bases adenine guanine like that so here we can see the we can see the video so here is a columnar chromatography number so here it is a x axis y axis so in x axis we can take the time bar volume in y axis we can take absorption here it is a bead it is a bead so in this bead large molecule did not able to enter so in the column these are eluted out very early so smaller particles it are enter into the bed so for what is called for eluting for eluting the smaller particles takes more time so here Larger particles, early time they are eluted out. Here it is peak, so but it did not shows. It is shows all are equal. 